You're probably sitting there wondering just how green is New Zealand's electricity? Well, it turns out pretty green. In 2020, it looked like this. That's 81% renewable and about 14% natural gas and 5% coal making us look bad. But how bad do we really look? Well, in terms of the OECD, we're running a clear fourth in the renewable stakes, not too shabby. Australia is 28th, by the way. <clears throat> Still, why can't New Zealand just ditch the fossil fuels and hit the hundy tomorrow? Well, here's the rather unfortunate thing about our renewable generation. It's not always 100% reliable 100% of the time. Hydro schemes need water, and that stuff doesn't just fall from the sky, at least not always in the right places at the right times. Even in recent history, we've seen years when our lakes have been drier than a camel-eating wheat bix. In a similar vein, wind farms typically need, wait for it, wind, and solar panels need the solar, or the sun, whichever is available. The real problem is, electricity generation, on a nationwide scale at least, is very much a use it now or lose it forever situation. And because we all selfishly insist on having hot water, Netflix and lava lamps whenever we want them, the country's electricity generation has to somehow meet demand at the exact times we demand it. When there's not quite enough rain, wind or sun in the right places at the right times, our only choice right now is to top up supply with a little fossil fuel fired generation. Let's be clear, without some gas and coal-fired generation in our mix right now, the vast majority of New Zealanders would face electricity blackouts. Yes, things are progressing and we surely won't always need coal to keep the lights on in this country, but right now, we definitely do. If you want to know more about how this stuff works, read the full article on our website.